Hello and welcome back to another tutorial guys We're going to be learning the basics today So obviously you've just finished your tutorial and you're thinking what do I do next? How do I carry on with the game? Well first things first I want to get you through um, a few things I like to do before I get going on any of it And it's normally going into the settings So if I uh, go right down here Keep coming down right down to the end You'll find this on your console as well guys um, but obviously I'm playing on PC So obviously you've got everything in here for my game. So obviously for this sake, I'm gonna name this one um, tutorial So we can really get going on so I know which one I'm doing um, You do have an auto save on here so you can save every 15 minutes So you make an habit of getting to save games like I've done before um, I recommend keeping that off um, But uh, it's not hard to just save just go down and press space and save like that so it's not difficult okay so i tend to keep mine on it's entirely up to you what you do um normally when you first start the game it'd be on time is five okay um that means it's five times as fast as real time okay so it goes pretty quick um i would recommend as you first start and i'd probably turn that down to real time um your ec economic dif uh, difficulty is basically um buying and selling um, prices and also on your revenue and contracts is based on this factor so basically um, the harder you go it's going to be difficult for you to make a lot of money um, so obviously if you're first starting off the best thing to do I would say is keep it on easy um, traffic I always keep it on uh, some of you don't like it admittedly you know so they can be a bit of a pain sometimes but uh, on here they're pretty good uh, seasonal growth now for the argument's sake for the tutorial I'm going to turn season growth off um, because it's going to be easier for me to go through all the different um, crops that we do uh, without having to wait for a certain month for it to for, for us to be able to grow it uh, days per month so obviously you can set this one right up to 28 days if you wish uh, for this tutorial, we're going to keep it to one. It's entirely up to you how you play it, guys. This is your game. You, there's no rights and wrongs. It's how you like to play. Uh, fix visual month. So whether specific months should always be visible. Turn off for dynamic visuals. So I've got mine off. Uh, snow. So even though seasons are off, um, is off, you still get the you still get snow in December and January and so on. And rain and stuff like that. you'll get all this guys so um i'm keeping that on for just a little bit more realism uh crop destruction now crop destruction is a a realism thing if you were to drive through your crops as they were growing uh they will destroy your crops so uh for a beginner i'll probably recommend turning that off um or if you maybe just like driving through your fields i don't know for speed speediness I, I wouldn't like to say but Keep that on or off, guys. Entirely up to you. Uh, periodic plowing required. Uh, whether or not you need to plow your fields periodically to keep your yield high. Now, I've got mine turned off. Uh, plowing is a bit of a pain, to be honest with you. If you want more realism, keep it on. That's entirely up to you. Um, but I have kept field stones on. Now, field stones, obviously, is the stones are brought up once you cultivate or plow a field. Uh, depending. Cultivating, normally, they're smaller stones, not so large. Uh, but plowing, they normally brings up the big stones which means the producer stones you'll have to get rid of the stones i like that i like this new feature on there so i've kept that on lime i've kept on as well as more realism as well so it's entirely up to you, you can turn all this on and off guys it's up to you completely um but i will keep it on for the tutorial so you guys understand um about stones and how to get rid of them uh lime also i'm uh, keeping that on for the tutorial as well whether or not you need to spread lime on your field periodically to keep the yield high that will help with your heat your yield guys so um i've kept that on uh weeds whether or not weeds will grow in your field now weeds can be a bit of a pain um i'm gonna keep it on because we're gonna be running through weeds as well in the tutorials uh so stay tuned for all them guys uh vehicle dirt control well vehicle control sorry dirt control so obviously we're gonna go through the vehicles now uh dirt normal the speed at which machine becomes dirty so i like to keep it normal um you can slow it down if you want to or make it up, um, make it worse. I like to keep it slow. Engine start now. This one 
is entirely up to you guys. If you were to keep the engine start on, as soon as you jumped into the vehicle, the engine would automatically stop. As soon as you jumped out of the vehicle, the engine would stop. Uh, for this one, I'm going to turn it off. Be meaning to do that for a while. Uh, stop and go braking. Keep the brake button L to brake and automatically start reversing once you have come to a standstill. Now, I always keep this one on. Um, I don't like it the other way. Entirely up to you. Um, mess around with it, guys. See what you feel that's best. If you don't like it, you can just turn it back on again. Uh, training and fill, train, trailer fuel limit off. Trailers can be filled until the max allowed weight is reached. I've got that one off. That's entirely up to you what you do. It's your game. Your choice. Fuel usage now. I've done low because I found I go through a lot of fuel sometimes. So I'm kind of trying to save money. But you can have it on low, normal or high. I've kept it on low. So it's up, up to you when I do. Um, now, AI workers. Now, if you're working um, and want the AI workers to do stuff for you, now I would suggest for you to save yourself money. Um, don't let the AI worker buy the fuel for you, or the seeds, or the fertilizer, or the slurry, or the manure. So what I do, I turn all this off, guys. That will save you a lot of money because you may find, oh, this AI worker has cost me an absolute fortune. Why is that? And this is why. Okay, so make sure they are turned off. Okay, so what are the settings we got here? So we do have an help, help window as well. So if you go into the help window, um, on PC guy, it's, it's F1. I'm not sure what it is on console. I don't play on console. I'm sorry about that, guys, but I'm sure you can find out somehow. Uh, colorblind mode, I keep that one off. If you guys would like me to put colorblind mode on, let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to do that. Um, I'll have to get used to a different color. That's fine. Interactive zone markers uh, shows yellow and black markers around the interactive zone. So I kept that on for tutorials. I tend to keep it on anyway, to be fair. Info triggers, I kept it on to show info triggers, which gives you helpful information about, about important gameplay elements. So like uh, in your cell points and stuff like that, where to unload and load things and so on and so forth. Uh, field info. Now I keep this one on so you can basically go up to the field. You can walk up right up to the field, onto the field, and it gives you information on your field status so i've kept that on um as i'm in britain i, I i'm not sure what i've done like that i normally keep it on pound but uh, depending on the map i'm playing um it'd be either pounds euros or dollars depends how realistic you want to keep it so i'll put this one on dollars guys because we're on uh, on a different map again measuring unit kilometers i tend to keep miles if i can kilometers well, sorry uh i tend to keep it on miles because it's what i'm used to uh, temperature celsius or fahrenheit i keep it on celsius is what i'm used to depending on where you're from guys you'll adjust it to what you want it uh area new hectares or acres now it doesn't really matter on that one to be honest acres hectares it's entirely up to you what you want radio off i've got to keep that turned off for copyright reasons guys um you can have it in the vehicle only if you wished or always the radio on or just vehicle only so if you like to listen to your radio guys then by all means do so um, but obviously for this reasons i can't do it on uh, youtube uh you can we set the vehicle camera so remember the camera position for each vehicle once you you exit it so i've got that turned off i don't like that it annoys me sometimes but you may fiddle about with it and find you like it or don't like it it's entirely up to you indoor camera suspensions um if turned on the indoor camera follows the movement of the seat suspension and gives a more realistic feeling now i'm going to turn that on i'm not sure i'm not sure why that is turned off to be fair i like the the bounciness when you're in the in the uh the tractor it makes it feel more realistic so i'm not sure why that turned off uh dynamic vehicle camera on the vehicle camera will try to stay horizontal with the environment i've kept that on i'm not really messing around with that so it's entirely up to you what you want to do there guys invert y look so inverts the y axis um i've never dealt with that to be fair so i've always kept turn that off um easy arm controls so turns on the simplified controls for cranes i've got that on uh, camera sensitivity 100% adjust camera turning speed so mine's at 100% vehicle arm sensitivity i've got mine at 100% adjust vehicle arm turning speed steering back speed adjust the speed at which the wheels return to the default position i've got 50% play around with all this guys see what you feel comfortable with what you like and what you don't like and so on and so forth uh, steering sensitivity and percent adjust the steering speed uh, direction change automatic defines if the vehicle direction changes automatic toggled or manually by pressing a button um, gear shift mode now there has been a few changes on here now guys you've got automatic or manual uh, manual with clutch automatic so if you've got a wheel and a 
a, a gear stick or gear shift you can use that if you've got a clutch as well also you can use that that's a new thing that's been brought into farms in 22 um so feel free to use it if you've got that equipment i did have but i'm back to controller at the moment so um we'll be using controller for all these tutorials um switch to trains so you can easily switch to trains if you turn that off you won't be able to assess the trains very easily um i keep that on depending on the map i'm on doesn't really matter left on or off input alt mode so auto uh set switch to input controls you are displayed so basically if i switch from sometimes i switch from keyboard to controller so that tells me if i've got the f1 screen up the alt screen it helps me determine if i'm i'm not can't remember a certain thing i have to do it can help me guide me in the right direction if i'm using the controller or the the keyboard or the mouse so keep that on also makes life so much easier guys um would also automatic cutting on trees will be automatically cut after the tree has been delimbed so i'm not sure why i've got that one on it's unusual but anyway we keep that one on makes life a little easier uh this is obviously do with your sound now some sounds can sound very loud in there i've kept mine kind of low guys so it makes it easier for you to hear me and so on and so forth uh G gui volume adjust the volume of the menu sound so i've kept that on you can turn it off see you can't hear nothing now i like to hear some noises every now and then i don't know why so once you've done that you can save now you do have ones for your key uh key binding as well so if you've got any special mods that you've put in like gps or something like that which we will be going through and course play um i will show you about key binding and stuff when we come to that but that won't be for a little while yet until uh, we've covered a lot more and what we're doing so far um also you do have an help menu on here so anything you're unsure about um on here like what farmer do you want to be do you want to be an agricultural an, an animal tree or forestry you know it explains you on those things there and how to start as well it gives you a brief description on that uh shopping workshop it goes through everything shop mode menus everything seasonal farming so make we'll be going through all this as well guys crops and um when you when it's the best time to plant and when not to um ai workers as well so we'll be going through all that for the tutorials as well um getting the ai to do things for you um going to the shops and doing other things uh, other various things for us um crops we'll be going run through crops as well so um, this is kind of handy as well. It gives you the icons on what they are. Uh, don't worry about that. You can you bring up your F1 screen if you've got seed in there and it will tell you what you've got ready to plant in your cedar. So we're going to run through that as well. Greenery. Obviously all your greenery stuff has got so much in Farm Sim 22 now, guys. Animals. So obviously that's the icons of your animals. So yield boost as well. That explains about yield boost. So we're We'll be running through manure, slurry, lime, oil, sea radish, dice, dash, date, solid, addict, um, add, addictive, <laughs> additives, herbicide, solid fertilizer, and liquid fries. We'll be running through some of that as well, guys. Um, there is so much we're going to run through. That's all your shop icons. So in case you get stuck on what icons what, just run back here. Go to help. There's your shop icons here. Herbal farming gives you a brief description. I mean, uh, they do 16 different crops as well. So it tells you about it all. Uh, like I said, we're running through all this. Mapping your filters. We're running through that right now in a second. Um, uh, and a few other things as well. Plowing. We'll probably be doing some plowing today. And um, you'll see some stuff going on there. Uh, we won't be doing some harvesting, I doubt it. We've done the harvesting. You've probably seen harvesting. You've done harvesting as well already. Um, sowing and planting. We'll be doing some sowing and planting, I expect, hopefully. So I'm going to cover all these sort of things with any luck. And the list goes on there. Um, like I said, you can go run through all this if you wish to. It will help you sometimes. It helped me out in the past when I first started. But I think sometimes it's nice to see a visual look at things. Um, and somebody explaining something normally tends to work better with me. So I'm hoping it does for you as well, guys. So anyway, that is pretty much all the menus there. Um, so first things first is if you press your escape button, that gives you onto the game. Press escape button again. That brings you to the first menu up there. Now, if you're on a certain menu here, this one here is obviously your main screen with all your filters, like your crop types and crop type 2. So it goes run through all your crop types there. Okay, so all the different colors and what they'd be if they're on the on the fields there. All right. Uh, growth. This one tells you about the growth that your field state's in now. Um, if you notice right here, these are in blue. 
45, 46 and 44. That means you, you own that land. Okay. So at the moment, my field 45 is telling me it's been harvested, which I did that before the episode tutorial. And I also seeded and 44 is telling me it's been cultivated, which I did that as well. Okay. So I can turn any of this lot off if I wish to. So at the moment, this one's saying this has been harvested and that one says it's growing. Now I can guarantee that's probably going to need lime. Okay. Which we haven't done. I tend to leave lime before I do. I tend to lime before I seed. It's a normal thing to do. 44 said it's been cultivated. So we're going to concentrate on 44 today, I expect, guys. So if I turn code 44 off, it's going to tell me the plowed state. Now, the plowed state is going to be fine. So we've got that turned off. Um, all right, let me just turn that one back on again. So you can turn these off individually if you wish to. So it tells you which one you need. Uh, soil composition. So you've got weeds on here. So we've got lime. So as you can see, with this filter here, it tells you if it needs lime okay and this one's telling us in yellow there it's got stones and it's quite light stones as well so they're not heavy it's because we cultivated we didn't plow okay so that's that one there so you can turn these individually off if you wish to see other things that the field may need uh 46 saying it needs rolling which so i'll run through that as well um fertilization as well and weeds so if you turn all these off as you wish, sometimes it gives you a little bit more in-depth of what you need to know. Hot spots basically tells you where vehicles are to, combines, your trailers, your tools, tip stations. All this can be turned on and off, guys, if you wish to find a certain thing. Um, and then we're back to crop type one again. So on this very first episode, what we are, will do, I think, to be honest with you, we're going to... Uh, look what needs doing so i'm just going to turn the controller on a second okay so we spawned into the house so every time you save a game come back you would normally spawn back to the house okay so obviously we did harvest this field here already now i find you can see on me being on the field now we'll be keeping that um on for the menu the field info it's telling me it needs lime and the weeds are starting to grow okay so the first first thing i want to do now i want to I want to plow anyway. I always like to plow to start off with. Um, if you've got plow state on, um, you would need to plow. I'm sure you will. Normally, when you start a farm sim 22 or any farm sim 22 map, that you'd need to plow straight off unless you've got it turned off. So, for argument's sake, if you have to plow, plow now. I'm going to cultivate because we haven't got a plow on on, on here at the moment. So, I'm going to cultivate. Um, it's going to need lime, so we're going to do lime first as well. Weed says it's growing, so we're going to sort out the weeds at some stage. Um, we might have to buy a weeder, or we can go other routes by doing herbicide. It's entirely up to you. Herbicide normally is used if you've got a really heavy growth of um, weeds. And I mean really heavy growth, and it's difficult to get rid of. A uh, weeder won't normally help you out there. Okay, so there's a few things we do have to buy. Uh, we do need probably have to buy fertilizer because obviously you've seen on the state of this at the moment it's saying fertilizer percent is zero so what we're going to do we're going to quickly um run down and buy these things now you can press p to enter the shop on your keyboard if you wish so on the keyboard press p so i'm straight into the shop now you've got all these different menus where you can buy your tractors it will tell you horsepower as well so say the z the the uh, z tour the z tour here it tells you how fast it goes it tells you it, it can work for manual also the speed it can go up to and the tonnage however it is so it, if you jump it obviously horsepower as well that's the most important one guys a lot of things is your horsepower because some things won't work unless it's a certain horsepower or below okay so keep that in mind um what we will need to buy though uh, we need to buy something to do lime with. Now, these can get very expensive to start off with in the game. I've not put no mods in, but there is mods out there that make things a little bit cheaper, uh, which you can do. So you can run through all of this. So you find the lime under the fertilizer spreader. So normally you can do fertilize and spread at the same time. Now, look out for these icons here. That one there is just fertilizing. That's an icon for just fertilizing. That one there is your lime icon. Okay, so... That will help you to 
fertilizer and lime obviously you'll have to empty your lime out and put fertilizer in all this costs money of course you got to spend money to make money okay so we're gonna to have to buy something now now that's the cheapest thing we could buy 45,000 that's take a big chunk of our money already so I'm gonna go and purchase that one now okay you can buy extensions if you wish so if you get bigger you probably want extensions and this all costs money as well so for argument sake for the tutorial we're going to keep this as none everything else different we're going to keep that as spreading disc um as z um, zero pounds as well because if you change the spreading disc on here now you can change to a six meters which takes it to 18 meters long which is 36 foot in the real world guys or at the moment a 12 meters so as we're, we've not got much money we are going to keep it as that plain simple that 45,000 so let's let's buy that one spending money already and I haven't played the game properly yet oh dear okay so next thing we've got to look at is buying lime now there is big pallets you can buy okay you can buy certain for uh, solid fertilizer a thousand liters of it for 1920 we're after lime today 450 for 2000 liters or you could Go back to the main menu, go to big pallets, and it's cheaper. Lime is 350 for 2000 litres. There you go, that's a little tip already. So I tend to buy um, lime, tend to go through quite a bit of this. Now, I'm probably not going to buy that much, so I'm only going to show you the one in the field. So we're going to go, uh, I reckon, at least, I probably need four. But buy that anyway. It always comes, comes in handy. And also, what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy some fertilizer as well. So I'm only going to buy one of those. I think that might last us quite a bit. I'm hoping it's going to anyway. That should be enough for the field. Uh, we've got already got seeds in our cedar. So that's all good. Now, a weeder. The weeders. Now, they can be... And a stone. Oh, my goodness. We need to buy so much. I may have to take a loan out already. Um, <laughs> okay, so let's have a look and see what there is. So you've got tethers. We'll go through all that as well. Uh, I do need weeders. I'm hoping I can buy one cheap enough. Yes, I can. I'll buy one for a 9,500, which we're going to do. I'm going to buy that one. See, the money's going down pretty quick. You may have thought we were rich for a minute, but we're not. I think we'll leave that for the minute. Right, okay. So we've bought all that. Now we need to pick it all up. Now, I tend to obviously take a tractor down. Now, if you wonder where all these things are on the map, now if you press your right bumper button and the left stick, now if I press F1, you can toggle the map with the keyboard like that. You get rid of it, bring it up, or change it to a square one, or to see further into it, you can make it bigger there. So by pressing 9, that does that for you. Uh, so for what we're going to need, we're going to need a tractor. So what tractor should I take down today? I'm probably going to take. Hmm, I'll take the uh, this John Deere. That was okay. So now we've got to switch the engine on. So if I bring the F1 screen up again, start engine. Enter key. Now if I turn it on there, there should be one for the start engine so it's going to be x so it'd be your uh, right mouse button sorry ref right bumper sorry guys right bumper and x if you're on keyboard it would be the return button or the enter button so i'm gonna close that menu down i find it get a little bit annoying every now and then i only tend to bring it up when i need to know something okay so we need to find the shop right now you're probably thinking, well, where's the shop then? I don't know where the shop's to. So what I'm going to do is get to here. Now, this is what I've always found effective for me. It may be different for you guys. Um, so what? You, so your shop's just there, guys. So you click on that one there. If you double click, I'm sure this still works. No, it doesn't. Right, if you press enter, you can tag the place. You should be able to tag it. All right, I've just had to I'll compress enter for some reason it won't work so I had to click on it um, manually so you can see it flashing now so once it's flashing you come back on here 
bring up your menu by pressing 9 and if I bring up to the large view you can see exactly where it is so you can see the arrow where we're to right now right, let's get us going this one's a little bit slow this tractor so I'll keep that up for you so you can see where we're going so you see where that green highlighted area is to right now on the in our view right there that is the shop okay so as soon as you get there that will just untag itself but let's bring that one down a bit and we're right off to the shop so you can go inside if you want to or you go back on outside it's depending on how you want to play it you want to put more realism you go inside just whatever you feel comfortable doing so we're going to head off down to the shop now we're going to pick up these things that we need to get ourselves going okay so now I've obviously I've bought all these things these will be actually at the shop for us waiting for us and it is now normally you can untag it manually if you wish on the menu or just go into there normally and it should disappear go up next to it and it's untagged itself so we've got our weeder and we've got our lime and fertilizer first things first then is to uh, put fill the the lime up now on these bags you can see it here if I get out of the vehicle one second right on there you can see that one with the icon being lime calcium carbonate and you see that one being solid fertilizer it tells us on there solid fertilizer okay and obviously that's our weeder we just bought as well so let's jump back in let's fill this up now if you press your if we get a little bit closer to it maybe it may help us a little bit more just so we can fill it all up and press your F1 screen now um, it says refill fertilizer spreader obviously even though we do it lime it still works with it so press R on your keyboard and it'll start filling now the thing with this is once that bag's empty you'll have to fill it again for the next one so depending on how many you've got or how many you're going to use I will fill this right up and I'll show you how you can empty it afterwards once we've used it all. So this is how I would normally start again. I would get certain things I need. Like I said, how you play it, it's entirely up to you. If you want lime on, that's fine. Do you want to plough? That's fine also. So pressing to port a call for me, it will be liming. Alright. Let's close that one down now all this helps towards your yield it obviously gives you a better yield okay we are back at the farm not very far away which is a good thing so we're not going to use this just yet i want to cultivate first is what i always do i always cultivate and then i line and then i seed here we're going to uh do a bit of cultivating i've got the weight on already now the weight helps you um lift up every things behind you so this is why we have that on. And just come back and on again. There you go. So we're going to brush right up to the code debater now. Uh, press the rhythm button. If you're unsure what the button is, keep the F1 uh, screen up for you. So we're going to cultivate this one. So I'll show you what I will do to get a better yield. The first things first, we start to cultivate. So if you throw, um, drop the uh, cultivator down, and we start plowing. Now there are um, little aids out there that can help you with this for cultivating, keeping a straight line, and making life easier not to miss anything. Uh, there's one called GPS. Um, I will show you this very very soon for you. Um, so you get drips of using that, you'll find it very, very helpful. Something that once you start using, you can't live without. I may show you on the uh, next few episodes once you've got the basics going. Get used to the basics first, and then uh, I'll introduce you to uh, more exciting uh, mods and things you can use to help your gameplay. Make it more immersive and more fun. So I'm going to carry on do this a second, and um, I will be back. Right, okay, I've managed to finish cultivating that, and as you can see here, if we go into here, just down here a second, you can see 
all the small stones that's been brought up. Now we would need to buy a stone picker to lift all these up. This would help uh, greatly with our yields and what have you. So we're going to get a stone picker. It helps as well. You can sell the stones afterwards if you wish and make a little bit more money back as well. So it, it does pay for itself in the end or you can turn it into line which I'll be teaching you later on in these tutorials. So we're going to put the cultivator back right now but um, we're going to have to go and buy a stone picker if we've got the money for it. If not, I'm going to have to take a loan out just to show you about everything here. You don't have to do that just yet if you don't want want to. But um, it, there is stones on here. You can turn stones off if you wish, but I think the stones still still do carry on um, in there. So, even though you've got the stones turned off. I think that was a thing. I'm not sure if it's still the same. Um, something I'm going to have to look into, so I'm not turned it off since, um, since day one. So... So we're just going to run down and get a stone stone picker. Right, hello, welcome back guys. We have managed to get the stone picker. Uh, the next item on the list is make sure all these stones are picked up. And I say, I do like using this. I think it's a nice little creature they've added in. So if you press the F1 screen, guys, uh, it's asking us to turn the stone picker on by pressing B on the keyboard. Where if I was to change everything now, um, it's asking me first thing first to unfold the stone picker. So let's unfold it. That will turn just slightly, so I'm going to have to adjust the way I'm doing this now, just a bit. Um, what else is it asking me to do? Asking me to turn it on and lower the stone picker as well. So if I lower the stone picker by pressing a right back button and B, and then by pressing right back button and, sorry, right, right bumper and X, we get going. So obviously, it picks up a reasonable area that you're working on. If I just zoom out a bit so you can see it a little bit clearly. Um, the textures do change just a little bit so you can see what you've um, what you've done. There we go. So we've only picked, we we're not picking up a great deal. Um, you can lift that up if you want to I don't ever bother I say it can be a bit of a pain doing this um, I don't know that's when people tend to turn keep it turned off um, I like it on I like it so you do get stones in real life on a farm or in a field so I've kept mine on as like I said if you've got enough you can uh, you can sell them as well Okay, I'm nearly done after the field here. I've got to go over a little bit I've missed on a few places. Uh, but it's not necessarily to pick them all up, so don't be, don't be too concerned about it. It's nice to pick them all up if you can. If you don't catch them the first time, you'll probably catch them the next time you have to um, cultivate your field or what have you. So I'll leave that there. I'm just going to turn that one off and lift it up again. Just press the same button so I did to turn it on and lower it down. So we're going to lower that. We didn't come up, we only picked up 103 litres for half the field, so it's not too bad. I'm just going to put some, find somewhere to put this at the moment. I'm probably just going to leave it just here out of the way. So we're going to let that one go. And that thing we want to worry about now is doing the liming. So I'm going to leave that tractor here. And then turn the engine off. And then pop into this one. Uh, start the engine up again, of course. So as you can see, I've left the F1 screen up for you guys, so you can understand that. We need to attach it. Okay. So, it doesn't matter what field you start from. But um, I'm going to start on this far side, so we get coming closer. Uh, now, there's going to be a reasonable amount of spread on this. Um, so, I'm just going to zoom myself out just a bit, so you guys can see what we're doing. Like I said, this all helps towards your yield. Okay, so what you do is press the right bump, the left bumper, sorry guys, left bumper, and then press X to turn it on. And off we go. As you can see, all this uh, this lime's going down. It's going to help us um, do the soil some goodness. Give it a lot of goodness that it needs to help the plants grow and healthy and strong. I'm not sure what we're going to plant yet. So um, we're going to plant something. Probably make it easy to put wheat in or something like that. Right, and there we go. Put that in there. 
But as long as you cover most of it, don't be too worried about it if you don't cover it all. It does help to cover it all, but um, it's not it's not it's not necessary. As long as you don't leave big massive gaps are all good. We shall plenty of lime on this as well. Let's turn that one off. This shouldn't take us long whatsoever. On our last pass now. Oh, must be the last pass. We have a little bit left over to do. Yeah, guarantee. I thought we would have to. I said by using GPS, you're probably saving yourself more money as well. So uh, the sooner I teach you guys how to use GPS, the better it's going to be for you as well. Keep things nice and straight. Right. There we go. And uh, one little tiny bit left over. And that one's already lined for us now. So we are going to put some seed down. Uh, turn that off now. Okay, so. I like to seed next. So you can fertilise next if you wish to. It's entirely up to you. Um, with certain um, seeders, you can. You don't have to worry about cultivating. Or. Uh. Uh, you can fertilize and seed at the same time so it's entirely up to you guys what you choose obviously this is a cheaper option at the moment this is what you'll be starting off with in game so we're going to run over here uh, we're going to pick up our our cedar I'll press it into key again start the engine up there we go so i think what we'll do i'll show you now once we've got the cedar connected if I can not pull down gaps, be uh, very, very helpful. That's a bit silly place to put it, really. Anywho, um, right, so next thing's next is to see what seeds we've got in there. So at the moment, we've got 9% 9, 9 left in our, in our seeds, 5, 4, uh, 545 litres there. This should be enough to do the field, to be fair with you. Um, these seeds are not too bad. So if I press the left bumper again, I can lower the seeder. I can lift the cedar back up. I can fold it as well. But normally it'd be folded. So we're on fold it again. We will turn the cedar on after we check set our seeds. Now you can see that by left pressing left bumper um, and pressing Y on our controller, we can change what we are planting. So I'm going to probably put in canola, guys, for now. We've got canola in that other field as well. So we're going to plant canola. So first things first is to lower it. Turn it, all, turn it all on and then we're going to seed this as well so as you can see the lime's disappearing now um, that's been limed so it's all good doesn't really matter we've done our bit now, we've limed it um, all we need to do to worry about now is keeping on top of the weeds and fertilising and our yield should be reasonably good obviously once you've seeded you'd normally use a roller uh, which you can purchase from the shop um, like I said that helps towards your yield as well which I will end up having to get to show you guys that as well. So if I show you the basics today on how to obviously cultivating, fertilizing, seeding, and what have you, um, it's all good. So I'm gonna carry on and finish this, guys. And I'll be back when I'm done. Okay, so we've we've finished the uh, the seeding now. We've uh, limed, we've seeded. Now we need to roll. I said this all else towards the I said guys don't worry about if you can't afford all these things to start off with taking things slowly just make sure you can uh, obviously cultivate you will need to cultivate before you can seed anyway um, just make sure you can do that um, if you can afford to do the lime then that's all good great if not don't worry about it just wait till you get the money to build up um, to get your machinery there's no big jump I just want to show you the steps that you need to take to get things going so we're going to press the P button again to open up the menu and what we're looking for now is a roller. So obviously this is rollers here. So with a roller, you can improve the upper soil um, layer quality of your fields. Okay. So that's what we're going to well, saying 41,000. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to be rather, rather cheeky now. And as it's just a tutorial, I'm not too worried about it. Uh, normally in game, I wouldn't do this. Um, we can't afford another used stuff in a way yet. Um, so what I'm going to do, come out of this, come on here. It's just how the dollar sign that makes sense. So we're going to borrow a load of money. 
just enough to tick us over to get what we need to get to show you the tutorials you can borrow up to about 500,000 if you wish but also just remember you've got to pay all this back so every day you um, go over 12 12 p uh, 12 p.m at night um what will happen is they're going to want to uh take the interest out of you so it's going to cost you a lot of money so be careful what you're spending so we we're going to buy a roller and let's go back up there again oh, that one there sorry that one there rollers we're going to buy that one there now be careful when you buy these things this is 160 horsepower now if you're not sure what your tractor or whatever you're using is go to your garage the little house there or look at the it's got a garage basically um and see what tractors you've got so we've got a medium tractor here well this one here is 190 horsepower that one's only 175 and this one's 170 so the only one's going to do it is the 4755 so like i said be careful um you're not picking up something you can't afford to use because the auto power is not there so you'd have to fork out more for another tractor so just bear these things in mind so we, we haven't got the right one anyway i don't think have we some little look we do have, we have the right one so we're gonna head off to the shop a minute pick that one up and i'll be back okay we've uh managed to come back now we've got the roller so the first thing we need to do is unfold it okay which the help screen will help you do that just gonna straighten ourselves up a little bit this one's quite uh quite a long piece of kit this one right so drop that one down and uh, off we go this shouldn't take long at all so in theory our field state before was showing us that it needs rolling yeah so if i go to the back of us now you'll see it's gone now all we need is road um need its weed i'm not sure why i showed up there there we go so we're showing up just weeds growing so we can sort that out as soon as we want the weeder so let's get this quickly done and uh it shouldn't take us long whatsoever just zoom out a bit if you guys can see what we're doing a little bit more and that does believe it or not get rid of the stones as well i never noticed that before it's pushing the stones right back into the ground so lift that one up again and then you can see where we've rolled it's gone a lighter color now now the next thing we're going to do after we've done this is going to be fertilizing and then we just have to wait for things to grow then so it does we, do, we didn't need to do the stones so if you could board a roller that's brilliant you don't have to worry about the stones i just collect the stones so i like doing that a bit it's silly i know but um each their own everybody farms different ways don't they i never noticed it pushed it back into the ground we just noticed it today i'm learning something myself as well that's uh pretty amazing after all these years of paying for them sim i'm actually learning something okay so i'm not going to worry about covering it all properly like i said this is just a tutorial to get you guys to know what we're doing i will show you how to get rid of the lime from the um the fertilizer spreader in a second we'll do that now So this is the steps that I take every time I do a build. Um, what you do is entirely up to you, but I like to make sure the yield's pretty good if I can. Right, let's uh, close that one back up. I said I'm not going to worry about the end there. Right, so the next thing is we need to get a fertilizer. Well, I said I'm going to have to run down and get some fertilizer, unfortunately. Um, let's just come out there. So. First thing to us, we've got too much stuff in there. So if I press the um, F1 key, I don't know, you've noticed once something saying unload. Now this, this is going to go everywhere, guys. So if we press unload, that's unloaded all the line from uh, for us. Let's start the engine up. I'm going to run down and get that fertilizer a second. And um, we'll fertilize this. And then that is it, guys. So all you need to know, all we need to know to start off 
make sure you get your yield a reasonable amount. Next thing is I'll show you growth on the next tutorial. So thank you so much for watching guys. Take care and I'll see you on the next tutorial. Enjoy your farming. Bye for now.